With this grand reopening, Michigan Central will be where the future of transportation is invented. To get more insight on that, I spoke with Bill Ford about what it took to breathe new life into the old station. Well, I'm sitting here in the uh, Michigan Central with Bill Ford. A lot of excitement at this time. I mean, you've been involved in this since the beginning. What are your emotions right now as the doors get ready to open to the public? I'm, I'm really excited. When I thought of this project, um, and when I first started telling people about it, they looked at me like I was crazy. Um, and, you know, once we announced it and then got into it, <laughs> I realized, well, you know, this is a huge project because it was actually in worse shape once we got into it than we even feared it might be. I mean, we had, you know, millions of gallons of water in the basement. There was, you know, everything was broken, drug paraphernalia everywhere, uh, water damage everywhere. Um, it kind of, it was about as bad as you, you could imagine. It was really fun where all the tradespeople during this process, when I was coming down here all the time, they were so proud to be working on this. This uh, they all It was a labor of love for all of them. What's this mean to the city of Detroit to have this opening up again? It's going to be a wonderful trip down memory lane, but it's also much more than that. It's, it's going to be the place where the future of transportation is invented. That's why the next door is really important, because we have those startups that are all working on different aspects of mobility. When you uh, first talked about what you wanted this place to become seven years ago, people called you crazy. Not the first time the Ford family's been called crazy. I mean, your great-grandfather was called crazy when he's been building the automobile. What is it about the Ford family that can see the final outcome of things before everyone else? I think it's because we take the long view and, um, you know, our family, you know, is in this for the long haul. And so I, I don't feel like I'm working for myself. I feel like I'm working for my children and my grandchildren. And because of that, I'm always looking beyond today and say, what is tomorrow going to hold for us? And what do we have to do today to get ready for that tomorrow? Now, when you look around here, is this how you envision this building looking? It's actually even better. I mean, it's um, that they did such a wonderful job because, it, what, you know, what's really interesting is for a lot of this building, there were uh, some that we had some of the old drawings and some old blueprints, but for many of the, the rooms here, there was nothing. Um, and there might be one ceiling tile left or one uh, piece of molding left and from that we had to recreate an entire room. I mean that's an amazing history. When people come in here and they see what this place has become once again, what do you hope they take away from it? We want this to be the kind of place that'll be a gathering place for the entire community um, and I hope that's what they do but I, when they come in here for the first time I hope they just have a huge smile. When people look at the before and after this, what does this say to the rest of the country and internationally about Detroit when they see what this has become? Well, it shows the kind of spirit and commitment we have here. I mean, you know, if you look at everything that's happening in Detroit right now, this really puts an exclamation point, I think, on everything. Chris Ledeen, CBS News, Detroit.